In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to measure plans in Adobe Acrobat Reader seamlessly and effectively. Whether you're an architect reviewing blueprints or a student trying to measure the distance between objects on a PDF map, Adobe Acrobat Reader is an incredibly useful tool. Let's begin this step-by-step -step guide to ensure you get comfortable with the measurement tools available in this software. The first thing you need to do is open your PDF file in Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you don't have it installed, you can download it for free from Adobe's official website. Once installed, launch the application and load the PDF document you need to measure. Navigating through Acrobat Reader is fairly intuitive, but having your document open is crucial before you can proceed. Next, you want to go to the section labelled All Tools. It's usually found on the right hand side of your screen. Click on it to expand a whole suite of functionalities that Acrobat Reader offers. Look for the option called Measure Objects and select it. This will allow you to have access to the specific tools necessary for taking precise measurements within your document. After you've clicked measure objects, the next step is to activate the measuring tool. You'll find this within the same all tools menu. By activating the measuring tool, you enable the software to interpret your clicks as measurement commands. This step is particularly important because without selecting this tool, you won't be able to take or view any measurements. Once the tool is active, you will notice a few options to choose from such as distance, perimeter or area. Each is suited for different types of measurement needs. If you need to measure the straight line distance between two points, choose the distance option. For more complex shapes, you might choose perimeter or area. It essentially depends on what your needs are for that specific moment. Click on the starting point of your measurement. This could be anywhere on the PDF, wherever you need to start measuring from. Then based on the selected measurement type, click the subsequent points. For instance, if you're measuring the perimeter of a rectangle, you'd click around each corner sequentially. The tool will draw lines between your points, showing you how it is calculating. Finally, once you've marked all the necessary points on your document, the tool will automatically display the calculated measurement. You can usually see this in the measurement info panel. This provides you with an easy way to verify and if needed, adjust any measurements you have taken. If things seem a bit off or need recalibration, that's where you can fine tune your measurements. And there you have it, six straightforward steps to help you measure your plans effectively in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Remember, practice is key to making the most of these tools. Keep working on it and soon it will become second nature. Thanks for joining me today and happy measuring.